Hey y'all, it is Hope at Crafty Hope and I am working in my uh, my small junk journal is what I've been calling it and it's just a little junk journal I made out of some various papers. Now this art journal page is part of my 100 day project. It was actually day I think 80 of my 100 day project so I've still got a few more to go. If you'll bear with me the 100 day project is over for the most part. Um, but I'm still working through all these videos I had. So on this day, I was supposed to use some of my Posca paint pens, which I always forget about. And I, um, yeah, so I, I paint, went ahead and picked out three colors I wanted to use and decided to go for it. And I don't know what kind of paper, it looks like maybe it was some kind of music paper maybe that was already on that was in the junk journal and for some reason I didn't care for it. I think maybe it was kind of thin and I was afraid if I did something on there I didn't want it to bleed through so I went ahead and put something else down which was just a dictionary paper. Super quick I used my Uhu glue stick to stick it down, covered the entire page and called it done. Now I think did I just say it a minute ago there's nothing super fancy about this page but I wanted to show you how easy it can be to pull a completed art journal page together that you don't need a whole lot of materials or time to do it and um, that's kind of all this page is. So the first thing I grab is my Lucas acrylic paint in turquoise and this is a gorgeous color and I just put a little down. Actually I think I put too much down. Um, I forget because these are still new to me and these are really nice paints and I just had too much. You saw I scoop some of it off onto that other paper. And um, I decided to stop and paint my uh, paper clip there because I had too much paint. Why not? Um, yeah, I'm just <laughs> so distracted sometimes. So I ordered that down a little and uh, moved it. And I didn't like exactly how the paintbrush was moving it. So I just used my little brayer to help me brayer that out a little. And then I bring out these two paints. One is a golden fluid acrylic. And the other one, I believe, is also a fluid acrylic. This one is from Artist Lofts artists loft at Michael's. I will put the colors below and links if I can to them. Um, the golden, if I find it, will be an Amazon link, but I know I can't Amazon link to the Michael's brand stuff. So, um, did I only? Yeah. So here's the golden. They both end up being the same color. I don't know, again, like I said, I don't have them pulled out right now. I'm not sure if they're listed <laughs> as the, um, as the same color or I don't know what I was doing. I think I just wanted to use some things I don't always use. So I grabbed those two really nice paints um, that I, you know, need to use before they dry up and are bad. So then I dried that and you know, I love blue so I kind of love what was going on there. But then I grabbed my uh, Deco Art Media gesso. Now this gesso I currently can't find online. I don't know if they've stopped making it or I don't know if they're going with something else or if it's just gotten hard to find. So I just scraped a tiny, y'all see that, the tiniest little bit across my page uh, with a palette knife. And then I got a little bit of Americana paint. I think the color of that one may be saffron. Again, I'll try to list that below with a link to it. Uh, if it is an Amazon link and you buy something while you're there, I might receive a small compensation. So there's a disclaimer. So I decided just to add a couple little dots to that with just my fingertip. Um, yeah, I used what I had on hand. Ah. Oh, y'all, sorry, I'm feeling super dorky. So here's where I bring in the um, Posca paint pens. Now this one's a gray one, and y'all, I don't think I've used this one much because I didn't realize how light the gray was, but I really kind of dig it. So I'm going to have to play with that some more. And I'm just doing a little bit of mark making. That's all I'm going to do with these. Um, and next I come in with the purple. I love the combination of blue and yellow and purple. Of course, yeah, I love all those colors. So um, I circled a couple of those dots. I made a couple little dots on the page. I, um, yeah, I, I, I really was kind of at a loss with what to do with the paint pens. There I'm making some little plus signs, just some mark making with my, with my Posca paint pens. And I think I have another one there. I think it's a brown, but I decided against using the brown because I just didn't think it was going to go well with the page, if, if I'm remembering right. Um, I can't see that's out of frame. And then this is just an artist, um, like pen. Um, it's from Five Below, um, kind of a cheap one, but I, I kind of like it. 
I like the brush tip on it and so I just did some doodles there because I felt like I needed something black on it for some reason I don't I don't know I, I really whatever um and then I still had a scrap of this security envelope I think I used the other part of it in something else um so I tore off a piece but then I decided let me go ahead and find a sentiment because I don't know how much of that security envelope I need. So I found just the words, he came so close. And I don't, I don't know why I picked those words. I'm sorry. There's, um, yeah, I don't know. They just stood out to me at the, at the time in the moment. And that was just from a, an old, um, an old book. It's a large print book. So I got that word out and I tore down my little piece of envelope and used my Ohu glue stick to stick down my words and then stick down my envelope piece. And then I'm going to kind of roll that envelope piece a little bit. And then that's going to be it for this page. Y'all, like I said, it really was just a little bit of paint, some paint pens and um, scraps of paper. So, um, I hope you like this and you realize how little you need to actually just create something pretty. So I hope you go for it and let me know if you have any questions. And if you like this, give me a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Keep on crafting on. Bye.